Hello loves, I'm not sure what's going on with my bangs, but let's just ignore it <laughs> and begin shaping our brows with Anastasia's Brow Wiz Pencil in Caramel. Now I'm going to fill in my brows using these two shades from the Naked Basics palette. I'm going to concentrate the lighter color on the inner part of my brow and then kind of mix it and transition to a darker color on the outer tail. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Now taking the Chrysalis Chrysalis, I'm not sure, palette by Kat Von D. I'm going to take this first shade, the light brown, which I believe is called Glasswing, and apply that to my crease, just buffing it all out using my Sigma E40. Now I'm going to take the color Life Light and apply that to my brow bone. Now taking the color Hybrid Moments and applying that directly into the crease and then on the outer half of my lid. Going back and blending. Now I'm taking the shade Black Milk, this really awesome kind of gray mint color and just applying that to my lid using my fingertip to concentrate the shade. I think this would be great used over a white base or maybe a mint colored base. I'm definitely going to try that next time. In blend, I'm going to use a mixture of these two purple shades, Hybrid Moments and Mezzanine. Mezzanine? Yep. And concentrate the color with this little pencil brush. I'm using a mixture on the very outer corner and then going back in with just the sparkly shade and tapping that a little further in. And blend. Using my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Ultraviolet. I'm just going to line my lower lash line and then take the shade Entombed and blend that right on top. This is my M Cosmetics Water Liner in Black Olive. I'm just going to line my lower waterline. And then create a winged liner using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I'm just going in with my Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy Pen with the fine point and just smoothing out that line. The lashes I'm going to apply today are the Flirt Lashes from this LA Girl set that I found at Ross. Only $5.99. Go check it out. Now I'm just curling my lashes and applying a coat of Laura Geller's Glam Lash Mascara. Now I'm just applying those false lashes using the Duo Lash Glue in the dark shade. If you haven't tried this lash glue and you like applying false lashes, definitely check it out. It makes it so much easier because this glue is so amazing and they actually stay put all day long. I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox Primer. got this little face demon on my chin so I'm going to use this NYX concealer in 
this green shade to help neutralize the redness. And then I decided to try it on the little red areas around my nose. Just make sure to blend that out with your fingertip. Now I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. Just applying that under my eyes, and I don't believe I showed it, but I did tap a little bit of that on top of the green problem area on my chin. Didn't want to walk around with a green chin. Not very cute. Nope. <laughs> I'm going in with NARS Sheer Glow and Revlon Skin Lights in Pink Light. A mixture of that and just applying that to my face. Tapping it on and then buffing it out. Now I'm using my e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. I'm loving this stuff so far. I'm just setting that under eye concealer. Now I'm going in with a pencil brush and blending out that lower lash line. And back in with that Laura Geller eye calligraphy pen to cover the lash band. This is especially important when the lash band is a little bit thicker like this one. Using this L'Oreal liner, I forgot the shade, but it's the rose gold one. I'm just applying that to the inner third of my lower lash line and a little bit on the inner corner. Now I'm just going to tap a little bit of Lunar Lights on top. This combination is gorgeous. I love the way it came out. Using my Matte Care Blend Powder in Dark. I'm just going to contour my cheekbones, my neckline, and my jawline, my neckline, <laughs> my jawline, and my nose a little bit. This is Milani's Baked Bra- <laughs> Sorry guys. My Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze. And no surprise, my Becca Highlighter in Opal. I can't get enough of it. I did just pick up Moonstone though, so I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of that shortly. The highlight was a little bit intense, so I blended it out with that brush. Now I'm using Elf's Mineral Lipstick in Natural Nymph. in the Buxom Gloss in Mudslide. <laughs> and that is the completed look. Have you guys picked up this palette or the Monarch palette? Please let me know down below and I would love to do a look with the Monarch palette so that will be up soon. And if you ever recreate any of my looks, please tag me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. All of those links are down below and at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!